All right, so check this thing out. This is a Ford 861 diesel tractor. We got a heck of a deal on it, but that's probably because there's one big problem with it. Uh, the motor is seized. I'm speechless, I have no idea. Behind me is a 1958 Ford 861 diesel that I bought for $600, not knowing that the engine had been ran out of oil and it needed basically a complete full rebuild. So my name's Tyler, you guys are watching Diesel, and today we are going to finally paint and assemble this tractor that's been dragging on for over a year. So this has been a painstaking process that turned into a full rebuild restoration on this tractor. I needle scaled the entire tractor. I have washed this thing many, many times. We've got a fully rebuilt 172 Ford diesel on here. Needless to say, off camera, we've done a lot of pain. So today on camera, we're gonna have some fun. So one thing that I'm probably gonna get a question on, we can just go over quick, is the paint quality of the surface that you need to paint, right? So what I did was I needle scaled this, washed it with degreaser, wiped it down with lacquer thinner and stuff like that. It was an old greasy tractor, so it took quite a bit, but I'm really happy with the surface finish. It's clean. There's absolutely no grease on it. Um, even though you might see a little bit of surface rust, that's not flaking rust that's gonna come off at all. All that is is just, you know, for me washing it and stuff. So the primer that we're gonna use actually has an acid in it and that'll etch in really good. So let's, uh, Let's get painting. I think I got the garage all ready to go. So this is the setup. If you guys have watched the channel before, you know probably already what I'm going to spray. Uh, Speedo Coat Epoxy Primer. I've really had good luck with that. Um, we got a little splash reducer to thin it out. So for an 861, any of the 01 series, you need a red-orange, not a vermilion red. We are going to mix up this epoxy primer. I'm going to shoot that. And then 12 to 24 hours later, no more than 24 hours later when you're using epoxy primer, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot the red. So this will be batch one of two. And don't forget, we still have to go through and spray the Ford gray or whatever you wanna call it on the rims and stuff like that. That stuff smells and it's hot. I got the heat on to try and get it to dry. Coat number one is done. I'll probably do one more primer. We're making progress. It looks good. Um, probably the first time it's been uniform color in a minute. It looks like one of those uh, military aid ends that they use in World War II. Has anyone ever seen one of those? They made like the box grater and the half track pusher one. They use them for everything to make runways. So cool. All right, I'm gonna go paint this. Um, it's like, probably four o'clock on a Sunday. Um, so to be within that 12 to 24 hour range, I probably got to do it first thing in the morning before Luke wakes up because Lisa's got to work tomorrow. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Okay, so it's bright and early, it's 6 a.m. To be honest with you though, everything really turned out nice. Looks like I got really good adhesion. Looks like I got really good adhesion. It looks like I got really good adhesion, so we should see a pretty good transformation right now. The gray makes a mess <laughs> and really gets everywhere. Just wait until we start painting some red. Boy, it's gonna be ugly. <laughs>
Whoa. I don't know what happened there. All right, so that's car number one. Uh, definitely got some runs in it, just like she had from the factory, but that's all right. We're just painting the tractor. Um, but it looks pretty good. Squirrels. I love that red-orange. I'm glad I went with that instead of Vermillion. So I think I am going to let that flash off for probably 8 to 12 hours. So I'll go ahead and paint the next coat, and then I'll meet you guys in a couple of days. And everything's dry and we can start looking at starting some assembly overall 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 definitely kind of getting back into this project it looks really nice um it's gonna be a good looking tractor that's for sure all right so we were gone for maybe like five days we went to california for a wedding so that was really good because it gave everything a chance to dry so let's just look at everything and kind of see how it turned out pretty happy i mean the the finish definitely seems like it's on there pretty good not perfect but good enough so now um, I've got small space I'm working with here, right? So I need to get all of these parts onto the tractor to get rid of them. Um, and then we can lay out the rims here and paint those up next. So the first thing I'm working on is adding this coupler for a front hydraulic pump because I do have plans to put a front end loader on this tractor. Um, so it just doesn't quite work. That's hitting on that bolt. So let's take that bolt out. I was reading online. People are saying you might just need to get a different bolt. Already, we're biting into the fresh paint. Oh. I knew this was going to happen. But I guess what better time than right in the beginning of the assembly stage. I feel like that's marginal. All right, the local ace actually came through for me. And they had some nice little spacers for us. So I'm just going to space this hub out. Like a quarter inch to clear that. Now let's see if this guy clears everything. Ooh. Alright, I got the power steering belt here. Just make sure we can still get it on. And we can. this book and you love this thing watch out cool. come on watch out so i had an old timer in ferndale michigan i think it's ferndale radiator shop go through this radiator for me and just had a small leak uh it was a pretty cool shop i think his dad started it maybe and then he still runs it he's the only guy there now but Check out the job he did on this. So this is the original radiator. He just cleaned up for me a little bit. What do you think? You wanna check it out? It actually looks like a tractor again, so 
hopefully I can stop getting asked those questions. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put on a bunch of the boring parts. I got like the steps for each side um, sitting over there. I've got the air box, uh, the exhaust manifold, battery box, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw those parts on and then we'll come back when we've got some space cleared up in the garage and we can get to painting the rims because tires are the next thing for this so that I can actually move it around again. All right, so I finally got these rims primered. I did it about, oh, maybe 16 hours ago. So it is time to spray some gray. So after we do this, then we'll let them dry for a while and we'll be able to go get some tires, which will be pretty cool. Because then I can get the tractor kind of in like a rolling chassis, which will be the first time in probably nine months or so. Um, so I got some Ford gray. I think this is the one that you want to use. So this should kind of mirror what the tins look like, although those are faded. I hate these stupid things. That's the stuff. proper color. Uh, that's one coat. I'm going to do one more. And this should be good. I'll dry them for... I'll probably crank the heat up and try and dry them for maybe two, three days. It's Labor Day weekend. Um, and then we'll get some tires. And then we can get this guy on four wheels. Um, I did a little Google searching. I think that's the right gray. We'll see. I mean, you know how it is. It's always tough, unless you're Caterpillar or John Deere, right? It's never changed, so. I will see you guys when we load them up to go get some tires. All right, I'm back. I just learned something today. So, remember when the first time, oh, I just ran into that. The first time I said, I don't know what they mean by recoat time. They say like eight to 12 hours. Ah. Well, that's a nice run. So there's two options. One, and this is what we always did like with automotive, right? When I'm painting primer, um, base coat or clear coat. As soon as it tacks up and you know it's not gonna run again, then you can go ahead and hit it and you can build that up. Basically, as thick as you want, as much as you want, you just cannot let it run. So you gotta let it tack up so it doesn't run. Or once you pass that window of that recoat time, you gotta let it dry completely. And then you can, you know, sometimes you gotta scuff it, sometimes you can repaint it. So where, see it's a nice tack, you can still see my fingerprint in there. So we're gonna let her rip. I'm gonna put my second coat on right now, but that didn't really click. The more you know. All right, tires just came in. Uh, I got the rims and the Jeep. We're gonna have just the place put them on because they probably have a better chance at not scratching the rims than I do. So, Little man and I are gonna go drop them off quick because we managed to get them back before the weekend. So let's go. Oh yeah, that's gonna look sweet. 
hope they're made in the USA, but probably not. So the place that we took the tires to, they couldn't get me the front tires I wanted because I don't want a three rib, I want like an implement tire. Um, should be a little more forgiving with the loader I'm going to put on it and then uh, holds a little more weight too. So I ordered these online from Miller Tire out of Wauseon, Ohio. I was kind of convinced they weren't in here because these are pretty thin boxes, but that is the one. Got a two and a tire. It's a 6.516. Should swell up, I guess. We'll see. Um, so we're going to mount these ourselves because hopefully they're not too bad, but they probably are. Saturday morning early. Let's get the blood pump. Let's see if I can get some air in the stupid thing. I don't have one of the valve stems. That clips on. Yeah. These rims are reversible. So that's what the other set of holes is for here, I think. Here's the first time we're seeing the gray and red, and that looks pretty darn good, if I will say so myself. Oh, gotta go up a little bit, huh? All right, so the front is now sitting on the axle. That's pretty neat. So I'm just waiting on the rear tires now. Um, it's Saturday, like I said, so it should be done Monday. I'll pick them up and those should go on pretty easy too. So this is pretty cool. Check that out. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's put some tractor tires on, dude. So I'm not really sure how this witchcraft and wizardry works. So maybe we should find an old picture. What do you guys think about that? I'm not really sure how you center these, but I think I got it okay. Just gonna work them around like a lug nut and it should bevel and lock. All right, never mind, I'm back. Because I have a sneaking suspicion I did it wrong.
now we get to do that actually twice more because we have to take the one apart and then redo that one. Sweet. My helper finally stopped by. Thank you. Don't ask why we have to do that. You're not gonna ask? No. <laughs> <laughs> the real helper's taking a nap. I don't care. Yeah, did you tell her what time his nap time is? That's not how you spell corn. I thought we were hanging out. Oh, I thought we were doing Sichuan Chicken Empire. And she told me how you gave her the rest of my coffee. I said, yeah. Doing? You're like, well. And I said, yeah, well, I told my husband that he can plan something. It's like when I told you I wanted a welder for Christmas and then you didn't give me a welder. The $4,000 one? <laughs> Why are women the way they are? Okay, you too. Comment <laughs> below Tyler sucks. <laughs> Always. Where are you going? I'm just trying to hang out with my wife. Oh, jeez. It's like wrestling with a bear. They're coming to get you, Luke. Jeez. What's going on, you think? What are you doing? Huh? Oh, there we go. Where's my big ratchet? Sorry, Luke. Oh. All right. All right, so there she is. All tucked in in the garage. Uh, it's another late night, but, you know, I actually I feel like I can enjoy this one and we're making a little bit of progress. So, like I said earlier, it's been Probably about nine, ten months since we've actually had this tractor on four wheels that we could roll it with, right? So, pretty cool. Um, I can also now clean up Lisa's half of the garage, and she can park in here if she wants. Actually, I know she wants to. She's been bugging me about it, so but she'll appreciate that because it's getting a little colder. So, I think I am going to leave this one right here just because it's been a lot in this video. Um, so. Next time, obviously, uh, we gotta start this thing. So it looks good. I think we're getting close, but there's still that whole wild card of it's a tractor, it can't just look pretty right. We gotta get started up, so. So this video is edited a little bit different. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So my friend Aiden from AH Fix It actually edited it for me, and I find it pretty comical. I'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on it right now. Uh, but if you guys are interested in this Ford tractor series, check out this video up here because this series goes pretty deep, um, and if you guys want to see where I got it, what the story with the tractors and everything, make sure you check that video out because it's actually a pretty good story, and I think it's going to shape up pretty cool. So next time, we will see if the tractor runs. I already know. Um, and then I think we'll have another video on finishing it up and putting it to work. So check out the series, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, Aiden, for editing this. Um, I enjoy watching it, and I think you had quite a bit of fun um, taking some jabs at me in here, too. Hey, tell everyone what you did. You rolling skunk poo-poo? Does the whole house smell because you rolled in skunk poo-poo? Are you going to get a bath because you rolled in skunk poo-poo? Get away from me. Get away from me. For once, you actually didn't do anything wrong. You're still pretty soft. Hmm?